Mackenzie, why is the door locked? Probably because we're in the meantime and we don't know anybody. Probably because we're in the meantime and we don't know anybody. Anyway, I'll give you that. But speaking of new in town, stop at an estate sale and got some Halloween decorations. Estate sale? It's like a yard sale, but for a really big house. Cool, let's see what you got. Bah! Not scary. Mine's better. I'll be right back. What are you wearing? It was in the cauldron. I worry about you. Thank you. Need a hand? No, no. <laughs> what the heck is this in here? Is it locked? Yeah, I think so. Okay. If anything that could have been in there, I would not have expected that. What is that? It's a VHS tape. VHS? The VHS the video home system. Like before Blu-rays and DVDs, you used to put these in a VCR and watch movies, or you could record shows, you could make home videos like the big camcorders you see. People hold them on their shoulders. These are the tapes that go in them. No? Well, can we watch it? We can try. I can go see if I can find the VCR, see if it still works. Good news! I found it! It's actually not in bad shape considering the fact it's been packed away. Oh, normal clothes again. That's nice. Get it hooked up. See if it works. Ready or not, let's uh, see what's on here. Hello, I am Dr. Thesiger, and I just wanted to start uh, some video journaling. I thought it would be good for what we're trying to do here. My wife and I just moved to Honston from the East Coast uh, just a couple of months ago. We and we realized that there's really no doctor or anything in this town, and I have dabbled in medical profession uh, previously before we moved here. Uh, here we're going to have a doctor's office. Uh, the estate's plenty big for what we want to do. There's uh, an area we're turning into a surgical area, surgical unit. There'll be a recovery area, there'll be waiting rooms, there'll be patient rooms. There'll be plenty of room for everything that we need here at our estate. And my wife and I aren't looking for compensation or anything. We just want to try to help uh, the fine people of this town. Uh, we're very excited to live at a much slower pace. A uh, wonderful town has to offer. Um, so I'll be keeping kind of records this way about things that have happened or that are going on or things that we can expect to happen uh, here in the near future. 
So I will be checking back in periodically. I have all these records for when I need to look back at something or for anything. Um, until then, we'll see you next time. Especially in the condition they're in. You know, we're helping these people get better. We're helping them to be able to live lives again. You know, it's, this is the third, third week of August. That means my favorite holiday, uh, Halloween, is just around the corner. I'm very forward to being able to decorate our estate. We, uh, we now have 22 patients. Sometimes it just seems a little more than we can handle. That they're more than just patients. They're, you know, these 22 people, they're our family. They are our family. They're, they are our children, more or less. You know, my wife and I could not have children. And so these 22 people that we've helped, that I've helped, <laughs> that, that I've fixed, you know, that uh, made better, that we've taken care of now for several weeks. They are our children, <laughs> and that's what they will be for now, and they will be our children. <laughs> uh, no longer patients, children. That I've helped. What? <laughs> that, that yeah, I don't even know who's been watching this. I picked up a couple of some Halloween decorations that uh, I think the children will enjoy. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, child four has had his eyes set on this bat since I brought it home. Yeah. Anyway, um, it is a great sadness that I come to you today, the fourth week of September, to report that we've suffered our first incident. My wife Judith, um, while tending to the children, was injured. She was uh, just gonna finish uh, feeding child four. Something, something in his mind snapped and attacked Judith. Um, pinned her up against the wall and started to bite her face. Several chunks of flesh out of her cheeks chin, her nose, her neck. We got down there, uh, she had lost a lot of blood, um, and child four was feasting on the piles of flesh. We were able to take care of everything. We, she knows that she should have taken more precautions. She did what a mother would do. Thank you. Bye. Hey, where'd you, where'd you come from? Good evening. Um, we're here, uh, it's the second week of October. Unfortunately, Judith uh, is not herself. You know, I, I did the best I could to heal her. I think they miss Judith, their mom. I think they miss her checking on them and taking care of them. I don't think they respect me. And I don't I don't know if they know that I that I saved them. That I am making their lives better. Thank you. What are you doing? What I thought I asked you not to come into my office. What are you doing? What are you no no stop
who said he was from an estate, and this came from that estate, and I don't really want to know. But we are not watching it again. Hope not. Hold on. Okay. Is somebody messing with us? Is that the bat from the video? There's no way it can be, right? What in the... Uh... 